Alright everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, doing more Game of Thrones for the Game of Thrones mod for this game, obviously. <laughs> Uh, today we're doing a we're doing a spoiler-free playthrough. So anyone, even if you haven't watched the show yet, or if you're just starting to watch it, this playthrough will uh, will contain no spoilers, uh, because the scenario we're picking, the time the time frame we're picking, is Robert's Rebellion, which takes place before the books or the show even starts. So we got a bunch of cool characters here though that we could play as uh, King Aerys the Mad, his son Rhaegar Targaryen as the prince. And uh, Robert Baratheon is the one leading the rebels, who is pretty much everyone else here. Tywin is neutral. Uh, he o he picks his side depending on who's winning the war or whatever he feels like doing. So we won't know who what side he picks in the rebellion. But we're gonna be playing as the Mad King, because I you know me, I love playing as my evil characters. I've already done Joffrey, I've done Cersei, I've done Euron Greyjoy. It's time to bring uh, the Mad King out. I've been saving it, but uh, we're ready we're ready to do this now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start this up. Now, I'm, I always like to set goals for myself when I play as these characters to try to play in character. So we're going to try to come up with some goals to do. And here's the first one right here. The game's already pretty much given it to me. Let me get rid of these hands here. Is uh, after Prince Rhaegar, my son, took Lyanna into his cave break... Oh my god, these messages. <laughs> Okay, so after Prince Rhaegar took Le Lyanna Stark into his care, Brandon Stark had the temerity to demand his life. I, I have had him and his father rightfully executed, and now Eddard Stark, Robert Baratheon, and his allies rise up against me. It's interesting to read that from his perspective. I, I, rightfully, I rightfully had them executed by flames. So yeah, um, the Mad King recently executed Eddard Stark's uh, father and his brother, which is part of the reason why they're rebelling, and apparently my son has kidnapped his sister. So there's a big rebellion going on, and my goals... So anyway, my goals, that's where I was at. I'm going to burn them all, so I'm going to burn Robert Baratheon, burn Eddard, Tar Ed Eddard Targaryen, I wish. Eddard Stark is what I meant to say, and uh, John Aaron. Those are the three I'm going to be burning. So that's my goal. So first I'm going to raise my troops, and we're going to get this all situated. All right, so the time has come for me to name my, a new Hand of the King, and I've got some interesting candidates here. I could name my son Hand of the King. That would be a pretty good candidate. Everyone seems to like Rhaegar, although there is a fun character I could put in here instead. Uh, we can take a look at him. Uh-huh. <laughs> His name is uh, George Martin, and that's who I made my hand of the king. George R.R. R. Martin. He's uh, he's hidden in this game. And he's got some easy genius stat. He's a poet. He's uh, gluttonous. Okay, rude. That is rude game. <laughs> uh, but he's my hand of the king, so George R.R. R. Martin is the hand of the king for the Mad King. That's only fitting. They both uh, love their death. So we're amassing our troops on King's Landing, and we got to keep a very close eye on where Robert shows up, because Robert is a very, very dangerous... The Rebellion usually wins this war, when it, when it just plays out from when the NPCs play it. The, they usually win, because they just outnumber me a lot, and I'm very evil, and no one likes me. <laughs> and uh, I don't really have a defensible position here, because uh, I'm right in the middle of everyone. So my only hope is to try to attack some Tully troops, maybe? Or I could corner the Baratheon troops down here, because they're kind of cut off from everyone else. So that's going to be what I'm going to do first. And if I'm lucky, Robert Baratheon himself will be there, and I can corner him. So we'll cut back to when I got my troops massed. All right, and we're back. My troops are just about amassed, and I also got this message that my sister wife, gross, <laughs> is, uh, is, is pregnant. And I, I was away, wasn't I? So Ares doesn't think that the kid is his. So this is going to be a big clusterfuck. I'm sure that she's going to have a great time with this. Because keep in mind that I'm playing as a madman. And because I'm a madman, I have the madman trait somewhere in there. Uh, because of that, I get messages. And like I get messages from his perspective. Like, uh, uh, there's a creepy, spooky boo in the night. <laughs> he went gook him in the chew and I saw him. <laughs> and so it just starts speaking nonsense and going insane. And, and, and everyone around you will be like, oh god, he's losing his mind, and they'll try to start to conspire against you. But I'm burying the lead here, because I'm fighting Robert and Stannis. I, I, I caught him at Griffin's Roost, which is a pretty cool castle, but beside the point. We, we caught him with, with my army, and we caught him good. That's 11,000 troops, so if we're lucky, we'll capture Stannis and or Robert. And, whoa, is he winning that battle? Oh my god, he won that battle. Holy shit. I outnumbered him by a lot. By a lot, a lot. That is how good of a commander Robert Baratheon is in this game. He can win. That. That's how I felt as Euron Greyjoy last time, because or as Vic, when I had Victorian Greyjoy leading my troops last week, because I was able to win some battles I should not have. And, oh, that's rough. He really got away from that one. I mean, I still killed a good amount of his troops, and luckily he's marching this direction, so I, I should be able to just re-engage him. 
As long as he doesn't get too far ahead of me. Because it looks like I'm fleeing all the way to fucking Dorne. Jesus. My troops are running to the sandy beaches. <laughs> They've had enough. Like, we're getting, we're going down to Dorne, goddammit. We're retreating all the way to fucking... All the way down to the edge of the earth. That is a long retreat. That would take you months. We're going through mountains. That is a long fucking retreat. I am abandoning my castle. This is bad. This is going very bad. Okay, so I've got a thousand troops here defending the city. So that's good. <laughs> that's very good. I'm... I, oh god, I'm at least gonna put them on the boat so they don't die. Oh, and that's only 600 of my own troops, so I can't even move them. Here comes the Tully Doomstack. I'm so fucked. My troops are down fucking having a vacation <laughs> in Ronwood. What the fuck? The, 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 why? The Tyrell troops are marching down here too. I don't care how Viserys gets educated. I'm probably not gonna live to see him grow. <laughs> oh, that sounds sad. <laughs> Oh, my baby boy. I won't be, get to see him be a grown man. Too bad I'm crazy and old. Actually, I'm not even that old. Yeah, here, take that equipment, kid. I'm pretty sure Ares is like, yeah, he's 39. So he just looks ancient because he's a Targaryen and he's mad. And in the books, he's got really long fingernails and he's gross. Are my troops still retreating? I think they're going to stop in Ronwood. Thank God. There's a lot of troops just marching. There's a lot. There must be like something going on. Is our college girls down here? Because there's there's a whole doom stacks of armies down here fighting nothing. I'm allied with all of these people, so there's no reason to march down here unless there's like one house. But oh god, what a so I've lost a I'm still marching south. Yep, going to Ronwood. Oh boy, we'll cut back after I march all the way back to frickin' Westeros. <laughs> Alright, so, my troops are still marching back north, but I've got some allies now, so at least I, like, because I'm losing this war so far. There's a lot of, we'll, we'll look at the troops later, but I gotta name my kid. I really don't have time to name this kid. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Daenerys, I guess, because the kid is born now. So this is, I guess, Daenerys, so this will just be, like, Mother of Dragons. There. It's the Mother of Dragons. <laughs> just so everyone knows when she's born. <laughs> She won't need to tell everyone or have a million titles. She'll just be the mother of dragons. I gotta, I gotta get my my troops north. I gotta. Oh, oh wait, I can take them. I think. I think I got enough. Yeah, cause I got the Dornish with me here. Oh yeah, we do. Fuck yeah, we gotta get there. We gotta get there. Oh wait, I was at a feast. Was I poisoned? Poison. My body is going numb. Someone please help me. The maiden. Wait, what? I've been assassinated. What? No, the Mad King! No! Is that the end of the war? Nope, they're still fighting me. Wait, it's cool now! <laughs> no, he was the crazy one. It can be cool now. Okay, we don't need to have a funeral for you. You were universally hated. No need. Wait, I thought I had 26,000 troops. What's happening? <laughs> God damn it. I have 12,000 now. What happened to the Dornish? Where did they go? What? They were here. Guys, you were watching this. I hope. <laughs> I'm hoping you were watching this. But where did they go? Did you see? Let me know. Because they just vanished. Oh, there they are. Okay, thank God. They had to arrive all fucking epic, like, at the last second. Okay, I gotta take my family and hide. So I'm King Rhaegar now. I haven't even situated my shit yet. I, I gotta find someone new to guard me. Because the King's Guard, my crazy dad... <laughs> I had him kicked out. I wonder if Rhaegar killed him. I should have been investigating that, because Rhaegar very well could have been the one who killed me. I, I won't know, because no one got caught, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, we can set an ambition to obtain a dragon egg. Fuck yeah. I don't think that's going to happen, but might as well try. Alright, so we're, we just won a battle here at, uh, at Bronze Gate. And so they got their troops kind of decently split up here, where it's going to be hard for them to reinforce. I can probably get to Bywater and attack... Army of Justin. <laughs> the Army of Justin. <laughs> Sounds fearsome. Uh, but we're going to attack Justin and his army. And uh, I think we're going to end up attacking the 6,000 here first. So hopefully those Stark troops, because the Stark troops have 30,000, and that's that's too much. I can, I can count the men, and that's too much. But they would have to abandon their Siege of King's Landing to do that. So I guess it's a win-win. Although if I get captured, it's not really a win. But... Okay, good. Robert's coming to reinforce, but way too late in the battle. So if we're lucky, he'll get here. And, yep, there he is. Perfect. And I, I captured someone in battle. Gawain Wild. Cool. Three-star fighter. That's a good prisoner. I will take that. 
Too bad I'm not crazy anymore. He would be in bad news, but I gotta, again, I'm playing his character. So, oh yeah, I haven't really, this hasn't happened yet, but since I'm playing as a new guy, I guess my goals are really out the window. So instead of burn them all, I guess the, the new one is to burn them all with kindness. So that's my new goal. Burn them all with kindness and bring peace to the realm. The burning sensation of peace and prosperity. My champion. Because they've been marching their troops like an idiot and because they've split them up, I've actually got them in a manageable position here. I've just got to wait. Yep, now they're splitting them up even more. Perfect. So I've just got to wait until those Tully troops detach and go try to take a different castle and then attack them from the rear. They're playing this really stupid when they had this war pretty much in the bag. They had 40,000 troops sitting in the Crown Lands. And remember, all of our troops were in fucking Dorn. And oh my god, I have 17,000 troops down here. Jesus Christ. When did I get them? What the hell? Have I had them the whole war? That was a moment of inspiration. Alright, well, these guys need to come north. Big time. Dude. Alright, well, that'll win the war as soon as they get here. I just gotta hope I can last that long. Alright, my troops are here, so it's, it's time to close in. I got my two stacks of 18,000, which should be more than enough. Uh, and I'm gonna send them in. So I'm gonna attack from there with... Uh, I need a decent commander to do this, actually. So I'll have Gilbert Faring do that. He's a pretty good warrior. And uh, we're going to have Aaron Santigar in there, and we're going to send these guys to Adadale, and we're going to do a pincer attack on these guys. They've got a decent amount of troops, so if they come to reinforce, it'll be a little bit tougher of a battle, but it shouldn't be too bad. And, oh god! Three Dornishmen attacked that army by themselves. Do you see that? Three. I think it might have been five before they attacked the two of them. <laughs> I, those guys are brave. I wonder if they got word that we were marching and then just got there a little bit too early, like those three guys. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll meet you there. We'll meet you at the army. And oh my, we arrived in time. Oh, we, what? Oh my god, that must have been to the second. That must have been an epic sight for those three warriors. Oh god, alright, we won. That was a close battle, actually. And, uh, alright, so we're gonna mass our troops here. Alright, so, uh, but while there's a break in the action, while I'm sieging Storm's End, I want to take a look around at what was happening in the world. Eddard Stark is leading troops in the Flint Cliffs, so he is, like I said, fighting internal rebellions in the north now, because people are starting to declare for me. After the Bad King died, it looks like people are turning around and they're like, eh, well, maybe this rebellion thing wasn't such a good idea. Rhaegar's not so bad. And I, oh god, I forgot about this chick. I still have Princess Mother of Dragons of the Iron Throne, my sweet sister. <laughs> Oh, she's sickly. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, she has a tyrannical stain. But she's quick. She's a quick mother of dragons. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Starks are okay. One thing I noticed is we can check out his relations here to see his friends and whatnot. And uh, here's Lysa Tully, who was imprisoned by her husband for some reason. Oh, because she oh because she was fucking Littlefinger. And Littlefinger's also imprisoned by... by oh, so John Aaron caught Littlefinger banging Lysa and imprison them both. Wow, that changes history. Wow, for, for, yeah, for those who understand the inner politics, that really changes history. So that is interesting. All right, so I abandoned the Siege of Storm's End because I found Robert Baratheon. He's here at Woodmere. So we're gonna attack him and hope we can capture him in battle because this battle is, the war is going slowly and I don't want to risk people turning back over to his side. And wow, he is, oh my God, he won that battle. Guys, somebody stop that man. Oh my God, is he unbeatable? I had so many more... Count that, guys. I had, like, double the troops. Oh, my God. That is astonishing. I have 4,900 left. He scattered my army. That is incredible. I can't even be mad. What a G. Oh, my God. Robert Baratheon is, like, hands down the... Like, he is Alexander the Great. That was amazing. All right, well... Things have been going very badly. So, <laughs> on my troops, I have 13,000, which is not enough. And I just got this message. With the siege raging outside King's Landing, you meet with the Alchemist Guild. We have several pro pots prepared. He, he has the pot prepared. <laughs> the city's going down. Blaze it. Let, let's smoke all the ganja we have. We're dying tomorrow, boys. <laughs> oh, merely give the word and we can see our enemies destroyed. So, the attacking troops take heavy losses, so yeah, we're gonna burn them. We're gonna burn the Oh god, it did not work. Night falls and the pyromancers load the catapults into the wildfire and at your signal it's unleashed. Green fire lights up and I watch in horror, oh god. So I might be turning mad myself and going down the burn them all path. We might accomplish that goal. But it worked, oh my god. So they're down to 8,000 troops, that will turn the tide of battle. I can take it to them now. 
So the wildfire might be what turns it around. Wow, this is an interesting playthrough so far. So I, I Tyrion Lannistered him, and uh, now I'm fucking my wife. So I guess that's good. It's always good. Make it. Make sure you're giving your your wife that loving attention, even when you're burning sol soldiers alive. That's important. So we're gonna attack King's Landing. I can't believe this. Wow, I was all ready to count it out, but wow, the wildfire. My dad turned it around for me. He was prepared. He was building that wildfire, and he knew I'd need it. And it looks like, uh, oh, Willis Terrell has taken over the... Yeah, wow, Mace Terrell was slain by Donald Noy. That is cool. Donald Noy is a character who's in the books. He ends up being the blacksmith for the Night's Watch, one of Jon Snow's, like, big mentors. He ends up, uh, dying in the bat. I won't give any... I, I was gonna say I won't give any spoilers, but I... It's a little too late. He's a minor character, guys. He's not even in the show. Forgive me. No, is Robert gonna win this battle? Oh my god. That was so close. That was too close. I thought he was gonna pull the hat trick on me, but we won. Thank god. Even through the wildfire. Okay, I gotta let my troops regain some of their morale here, because that was bloody. And we won this battle here, or we're about to win, I think. Looks like we're about to win. Is Robert here? Yes, he is. So we had another chance to c try to capture him. And oh no, he got reinforcements from somewhere. Where did the- oh, from the north! And from the crossing! The fucking phrase! The fucking phrase! No! No! I refuse to let Walder Frey be the end of me. God damn it, Robert Baratheon just got away with another one. I need help. Are the Dornish helping me? What happened to the Dornish? They're not good. They got three troops coming here from fucking Skyreach. Oh, good. And two from Hel Hellholt. I'm glad they're sending their best men. Wait, what? Rhaegar Targaryen is now known as the Bear. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is he the bear? Alright, so, oh, it's been a while. I have been besieging castles, random castles, just doing anything to try to get this war score up, and it's been a nightmare. So I got frustrated and marched all my troops up to the Eyrie to try to find out where they were hiding their troops. And there were about 10,000 up here, so not what I was hoping for. But I'm sieging the Eyrie now, because why the fuck not at this point? I'm somehow still losing this war, and oh yeah, not only did I see Jen, uh, Siege Storm's End, but apparently Robert and Stannis are both dead. And you know who killed him? Oh my god. Was killed in personal combat in the midst of battle by Oberyn Martell. Yes! Yes! We did it! We killed Robert Baratheon, guys. I'm calling it there. Oberyn Martell, my man, went in the war for me. Yes! Oh, I want to give him everything. I want to give him everything. Oh, that's the end of the episode, guys. We won. We didn't actually win. The war scores at 14. But at, the, at this rate, it's going to play out for another fucking year. And I'm not willing to sit through this. So, we did it. Rhaegar the Bear of the Iron Throne. <laughs> oh, we had an adventure, guys. We played as the Mad King. Didn't really get to do anything too mad, other than marching my troops down to Dorne to have a sunny vacation in the middle of a war for no reason. I guess that was the craziest thing he ended up doing, and it got him murdered. But Rhaegar Targaryen's legacy is... Not doing a whole lot, other than being known as the Bear. <laughs> and uh, we have my sweet sister, the Mother of Dragons, so that's a playthrough. So, join us next time. Um, if you're enjoying these playthroughs, I'm glad. No, we're, do like, we're doing one playthrough every week, so let me know who you want me to play as next time. Otherwise, we do Let's Plays every day here, playing other games, too. So, if you're interested, you want to see more of our stuff, please uh, check it out in one of these links. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for joining. Talk to you guys later.